well. Um, Ian here runs the junior swimmer course. Um, I suppose the two biggest nationalities are Spain and Italy. Um, I know we have small and large students from other areas. Um, it's classes in the morning, uh, activities in the afternoon, two sporting activities, two excursions, and one other. So another might be something like a or something like that. And so two cultural, two sports, one other. We have an uh, inter-school sports competition as well. Um, three day trips over four weekends. Uh, sorry, three uh, Saturday full day tours out of four. So one weekend of family. Um, and yeah, really, really successful program. Um, goes very well. Kind of almost all runs at the moment, you know. Um, like. For example, the activities list for the past four years fairly changes. Uh, a lot of stu- uh, teachers return to us, so they're teaching in, I don't know, Oman or Spain or whatever, and they come back and they'll, they'll work for those during. It's a little bit like following the, the wildebeest, you know, have <laughs> teachers who maybe are on nine month contracts in Spain or wherever, mm-hmm. and then they'll come back and maybe work for a couple of months with us and then take a month off. Um, is this the uh, campus space of the school then? Or? Yeah, we, we use a, another centre in bed. Not even two miles, is it? Mile and a half. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but in actual fact, we pretty much can't take book- more bookings now for that. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, really interested in talking to you maybe for the future, mm-hmm. but um, we're quite careful about things like preserving a nationality mix and preserving the ballots. Um, so there's no point in spoiling for everybody, you know, just try and preserve the quality and keep it at a level where it would be successful. Anything else? One thing actually which I'd like to, to say to you is kind of a new thing we're working on at the moment, um, and we're still working on the syllabus uh, development, is um, for executives and business people and for ESP uh, to work on five to one. I don't know, maybe you five people, one teacher, okay, mm-hmm. so guaranteed, guaranteed uh, class size, um, and for ESP, so we'll be working with either general business people or a specific area like legal English or medical English, and then aviation, nuclear power, whatever, and so provide for any sort of well, yeah, any sort of specific language, really. If you're applying advanced. Absolutely. Why? I don't want to learn it out to a piece of language. Well, let me tell you the idea behind this. Um, finance, for example. Finance, well, that's great. But what I found is, generally, you know, somebody says, oh, what's a business course in July? Mm-hmm. Okay, they're looking at one-to-one. Because they're the only person who's looking for it. Yeah. Unless the agency comes and says, okay, I have you know, four students from Oracle who want to do, you know, an English course in the area of of selling or something like that. Okay? And then that's great. You have four people who can go through it. Lovely. But if you have one person who wants to come, you can really only offer them one to one. Which is really dear and might not be what the person wants anyway. They might not want just one person who wants to teach them. It's very good and very good content. So what what my idea is, is to have an open course and um, put a ceiling of five participants. So you say, okay, one week, uh, you know, third week of August or something like that, we're going to have a uh, six hour intensive business course. And then, you know, you can book in one student. Oh, that would be good. That would be a specific date. Yes. Yeah. And specific um, provisions. Yes. Now, business, I suppose, is the easiest because there is a set of skills there uh, which are you know, more or less pretty recognisable. Uh, you know, presentations and whatever, you know, the, the, the kind of course content is. Um, meetings, whatever. Um, but other courses, uh, for example, say, legal English. Um, we've had you know, quite a few lawyers who come in with us and um, you know, they, they just do a one-to-one program. But it would be great if, you know, you have a set-day course, you know, 
whatever, you know, uh, 14 to 21st of August, let's say. And then, to any of you who have an inquiry from, you know, for, for an evening, so that can put the person on that course. And once it hits five people, boom, it's closed. Um, the, the attraction of this is it allows us to offer business and ESP courses um, other than on a one-to-one -one basis. And for the professional, the executive involved, um, you know, these people have specific needs. And if they put on to a general English program, it's entirely possible that they will be, you know, doing pair work with an 18-year-old, whatever, French kid who finished the, the back or something like that, who's tested on the intellect after, and that's not the level, that's what the general English program is. 